Now, I don't want anybody to laugh at me, but I think I just discovered the actual trail. <laughs> Hey campers, George here. Here we are. Karen Park in Rice County. Um, had a subscriber uh, put me onto this place. He saw one of my walkabouts and suggested I go out here and check it out. There's trails here and he said it's a, pri a pretty good little park. And apparently I, there's some couple of small waterfalls and things like that. So I thought, hey, beautiful day, 86 degrees, a little muggy, but we're outdoors. So join me Karen Park Rice County Parks in uh, Rice County Minnesota let's go check it out see here we are as you can see it's kind of in the sticks and the farmlands and whatever but it's green there's trees and there is a little picnic area which is pretty cool so Let's follow the trail and see where we land up. As you can see, beautiful day today. Some ominous clouds, but hey, what's a little bit of water, right? I think I brought my rain jacket. <laughs> it's beautiful and green again in Minnesota. Well, this looks like a trail here and not much marked there is a sign mountain bike trail ahead huh. wow this is a good start let's see where we land up <laughs> yeah it's always an adventure what can I tell you oh so I'm just uh, following them and uh, I'm not sure where it's going to take me but I figured I'd just follow it. It is a nice little park though. Look at it. So far this is a pretty cool little park. It's really green right now. We had a lot of rain. Look at this tree blown over. Huh. Wow. What do you do? You keep walking. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going here. I'm just following this uh, path. Hopefully I'll be able to find my way back. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, that's a big tree. Look at that thing. Just lying. Falling over. It's beautiful. These, I love going in these parks where they just leave just about everything natural. seen a lot of these out beautiful little flowers and then you got thorns <laughs> spiky things Wow, Hillary. Summer took a long time getting here. Now that it's here, I'm glad. Out and about and do some fishing. <laughs> Kayaking, camping. Hoping to get some in. 
Hopefully it'll be good. Check out this tree though. Where is it? There it is. That one right there. No bark on it. In the middle of the, all these other ones. See that? Kind of weird. You get outdoors. I've been thinking about that. You know, a lot of you know. I have a website where I just share things that I learned. Um, when, you know, trying to learn safety and things like that in the outdoors because I'm out a lot on my own. And I was doing that 10, looking at that 10 cc's of survivability. And uh, everybody seems to live off that list. Had a look at it, got all the stuff I need, and then realized it's just about the tools you need. <laughs> That's it. So I started thinking about what else I should be taking with me. I mean, they don't discuss safety, uh, clothing, first aid, things like that. So I've been thinking about that, and that got me thinking about my first aid kit that I carry with me. I haven't looked at it in a while. Just go through it and see what I need to add to it. I did find a... Uh, a really good list on uh, the REI website. You know, they have a, a little section that with uh, information and help and suggestions and things like that. That kit, I'm just looking for a very basic one for when I'm hiking and, you know, I don't go on 100 mile hikes. So. All these trees are dead. See this? Huh. In the middle of all this. Anyway. Ooh. I see water. Maybe we're on the right track here. Let me stop. I think I can hear a waterfall. Let's see if we can go find it. That water is crystal clear. Unbelievable. Beautiful to see the, you know, the clear water like that. You can see all the way to the bottom. There weren't any fish. <laughs> so, through sheer persistency and luck, <laughs> look what I found. A waterfall. Pretty cool. And the, uh, the pool is crystal clear. Beautiful. Look at that one. Feeds right into that one. <laughs> well, it joins a little downstream, but that's pretty cool. Let's go up and have a look. So let's see if we can find a place. To sit and maybe make a cup of tea. Look at that. Beautiful.
Well, apparently, I found the beginning of the trail. <laughs> oh, Joy's view is getting things back ass with. What do you do? I see the trusty truck and dandelions. <laughs> well, now that I have my trusty pocket rocket and my uh, water on the boil for a cup of tea, um, I thought I'd just talk about first aid. Um, you know, carrying a first aid kit. I know everybody does, but I just thought I'd touch on it and, and how I do it. I actually have a first, I have three first aid kits. Um, one is a small one, which is in my pack here. My trusty new, fantastic L.L. Bean pack. <laughs> and I did a review on it. I'll put a thingy up here for it. Um, whoops, look what happened. Fire, fire. That's not good. Put that fire out. Anyway, um, I have uh, in my LL Bean pack here, I do have one very small, which is really my walkabout pack um, and first aid kit. It's typically for a day walk. Um, I don't need anything special on it. Um, it's a very basic kit. Um, I started off by getting a, a store-bought kit. This is the um, Be Smart, Be Prepared one this little one here and I added a couple of things to it here's a cotton bandana and some duct tape and then uh, stuffed the inside I, I went through what it had and went through then I added things like some tape there is a lighter in there there's a bunch of band-aids um, you know things like that very basic um, a tick remover little things like that take care of scratches and small cuts and that sort of thing and that's what I carry in my LL Bean pack. Um, when I go camping though, I take a little bit bigger one. And this is the same thing, it's a bought one. It's uh, Adventure Medical Kits. Um, it's for one to two people and it comes pre-packed. But once again, I went through it and added some stuff to it. And I think it's time to do it again. Um, you know, the stuff I have in here, it's a little bit more fancier than my little one. And it has a little bit more. But I need to go through it and add to it again. I did uh, go online, like I said, and uh, found a list that I printed out uh, from REI. And I thought it a pretty good list. I looked at the thing. They do get into it. I mean, they, they do add to it. They add a lot of extras. But for me, just the first section is uh, the one that I, you know, really look at. I carry a first aid kit and a little survival pouch, you know, my things or possibles pouch, which has all my 10 cc's tools in it. And I find that, you know, with that and my first aid kits, I'm, I'm okay. Certainly for 72 hour disaster, which is basically what it's based on. And then I have a third one, which is a bigger store bought one. It's kind of a big pack, which sits in my truck. Um, it's always in my truck, never leaves my truck. It's just under the seat. And it's just in case I come, you know, I get into an accident or something like that, or I come across an accident, something maybe I can help someone. You know, my advice is to get, you know, find a list and work off that. Look at what it's got in, research, see what everybody says, and then make your kit from that. And my wood is boiling and shaking the table, and it's kind of making a noise. Anyway, time for a cup of tea. And uh, a little bit more about Karen Park. A uh, nice little park. You know, when I first started walking, I made the mistake of going on the bicycle path. And it's really an adventure ride. So it goes back and forth in the shop, turns and things like it goes down. But I landed up at the walking, uh, the regular hiking trail by pure luck. And that was down by the waterfall, the waterfall that we saw there. And that is a nice little waterfall. It's beautiful there. The water's crystal clear. It's not very big, but it's very peaceful. It's nice. I sat there for a while. And anyway, um, a nice little park. I'm glad I came out here. Um, you know, thumbs up to the subscriber, and I'll put his name below, who uh, pointed me to this park. And I, you know, there's a lot more to it. I didn't do the whole walk. 
you know, like I said, I went on the bike trail and then came on uh, the, the hiking trail. So I might just come back and have a look and maybe stop and make myself some lunch somewhere and find somewhere to do that. I always enjoy doing that and come up with some little meal to make, either on my bush box or my pocket rocket. Karen Park, Rice County, Minnesota. Uh, nice little hidden park, nice little trails, beautiful down there, nice and green. It's basically a little woods. I'm not sure how big it is. I'll put the information down below if you want to look at that. And a link to their website. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know, you know the story. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Just saying. Bye.